And moving on, Coco Bill holders uh, who decided not to participate in governments uh, of Ghana, uh, Ghana's Coco Bill exchange program are demanding Coco Board honors the payment of their matured uh, bills uh, before the close of January. They say the inability of the government to pay them their monies is affecting their livelihood. James Eshan visited uh, the Kwam's family and came through with this report. In January 2023, Money paid to investors who purchased Coco Bills on maturity were withdrawn from individual investors' accounts without their consent. Coco Board issued the bill to raise funds. Many had bought the bills expecting to be paid back their monies with interest on 1st day January 19, 2023. Reports from some fund managers indicated the monies were actually paid on 1st day January 19, 2023, only to be reversed on Friday January 20, 2023. The banks have pointed to a directive from the Bank of Ghana ordering them to unilaterally roll over the bonds without first seeking the consent of investors. Banks were under pressure from affected customers. Echikwam, a retiree, was one of the affected customers. He expresses shock at the development since the money was rolled over without his consent. I worked for 35, 36 years. Mm -hmm. uh, I started at GB Olivant and then went to Unilever, then I went to Unilever in Zimbabwe, then I came back to Guinness in Ghana, worked for a short time, then asked for the investments. One can say I've been investing for a, a while, uh, treasury bills, yeah, uh, fixed deposits and all those things. and. Uh, it's only recently that we took the cocoa bills. Six months after the Ghana Cocoa Board launched a debt securities exchange program, under which it invited holders of its short-term debt securities or the cocoa bills to voluntarily offer to exchange their cocoa bills. Cocoa bills holders were asked to sign on to the exchange program, but Ichukwam opted out. Uh, as part of our, my retirement, I got a certain amount and I put it there. Uh, if I were uh, in another place and then they came and made another proposal to us, which was interesting. So we moved our funds, funds there. Uh, and uh, we were supposed to enjoy our benefit plus our initial capital in uh, June, January, January 20. Yeah, that is was in 2000 and <clears throat> 2001. Uh, 2023, yeah, 2023. So we were waiting. Then we had some hints that something was up. So we wrote to them and said, look, sell our thing and give us back our investment. Okay. And uh, they said they would try. So come uh, the payment time, I saw that the money had been credited to our account in the morning. Before I could say, Jack, it had been debited again. So we were rather surprised. And apparently this debt uh, uh, recovery program had been launched. So we didn't know what was going on. Almost six months after, no communication on the payment for those who decided not to tender. Echi Kwam and wife amongst others are worried why government and cocoa board are failing to honor payment of those who failed to tender their cocoa bills after government pegged the participation in the exchange program at 97% with over 7 billion Ghana cities bills tendered. We have been extremely successful with the current tendering of more than 90% for cocoa bills of 7.9 billion cities and US dollar exchange of $809 million. And detailed announcements will flow through when the settlements are done. According to Gifty Kwam, wife of Echi Kwam, footing the bills of their ward in the university has been very difficult. I think it's, it's morally wrong. And in fact, it's legally unacceptable, you know. I mean, the trauma even to 
um, our children who have to even go through all kinds of things and explanations. It's not right because they know their parents and they know we planned for them. You know. So I'm begging the ministry to pay us our money. That's all. It's our money. You rolled it over without our consent and with your own interest rates. Fine. You give us our money back. Give it, give it to us. That's all we're asking. It's not right to keep it. The family is in total disbelief and wants their monies to be paid or a communication from the Cocoa Board or the Finance Ministry. <laughs> well, it's not been easy. It's not been easy. My, I've got a kid in school, uh, in the university, and uh, I have medical bills I have to take care of. I have the house I have to take care of. And it, it's not been easy. So every month we try and see what we can do, but it has not been easy. And uh, yeah, that, that's it. It has not been easy. So that's why we keep going to them to try and get them to tell us if anything is going on, you know. But uh, we don't get any proper feedback. Mm. Mm. I know you are not the only one being affected by this, but do we have other groups who are also complained about similar situation? Well, really, I, I yes, there are other people also going through this. I know there are, I don't want to mention names, but there are other people who are going through similar challenges. I know some people have died because of it. I know some people who are very sick. I, I, I know a lot of other people. But this one is, you have to cry for yourself because the way it has been done, you, 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 we, we don't get together like the previous guys got together to stay their demonstration and all that because really we don't know ourselves. It's a very stressful situation to go through at this time when my husband is on retirement and, and actually not that well, you know. Is there a joint investment between you and your husband or is it just... Yes, it's, it's his um, investment plus mine put together, which we invested there. And, you know, we looked for the best option because it's a, like a pension stuff. We looked for something that has zero risk. And at the time, I mean, who would have thought that cocoa bills will have issues? Cocoa bill holders, just like the Quams family, are asking for an update on payment for those who decided not to tender their cocoa bills. James Hitchens report for Joy Business. Well, what we know is that uh, Coco Bot has declined comments on the issue uh, when Joy News uh, reached out to them. But my colleague Elton Brobe has been uh, digging uh, on this uh, subject and joins me uh, for more, uh, which we would uh, definitely uh, need to look at now. Elton, let's get to it. Um, of course, what are you learning on this subject? Well, Blizzard is a very straightforward answer I got from authorities at Cocoa Board, and the claim is that this is not new to those who hold some of their bills, because in July 2023, uh, there was an announcement that uh, they invited bill holders to exchange for new ones, and that's what happened. And they, they, they wrote out a roadmap that, will, that is geared towards paying them their, either their principal or interest on the investment that they've undertaken with Cocoa Board. And according to my sources, this was done because Cocoa Board needed to restructure about 8.2 billion Ghana cities. And because uh, the Bank of Ghana had made it clear that Cocoa Board should take care of their own debts and that the Bank of Ghana was no longer going to honor some of these obligations, Cocoa Board now decided to restructure 8.2 billion Ghana cities. And that resulted in them writing to all bill holders to exchange for new ones. And that was very successful according to Ghana Kuku, but there was no concerns raised by others. And for that reason, going forward, what they have done is to go out a roadmap towards the payments of either the principal or the interest. So starting March 2024, they will start the first payments. And the, the aggregation is that they will, they, they, will, they will clear off all the debt mm. between 2024 in 2028, it's a five year period. And the first payment uh, will start in March, 2024. So 
everybody who has a coupon that is due for payments, the first payment will happen in March 2024. And that is the information I'm picking from the top hierarchy of the Ghana Cocoa Board. Uh, Elton Brobo there with the uh, latest on this matter.